Oh, the mind of a biker. Catch you inside. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alpha. Hope you enjoy the channel and this series of videos. Please like, share, subscribe, leave those comments below. Check out the website revelatoralpha.com. Check out the links in the description for lots of other info as well. And uh, click on that bell next to the subscribe button for all the future videos. So, in this video, I'm talking about look, we know what's going on in the world. You know, the crisis, the coronavirus. We know what's going on. It's serious stuff. But I'll tell you what, I don't know what the hell's the matter with me, but yesterday I was walking around my bike. I was actually walking past it. I actually wasn't going anywhere near it. I was walking past it and I noticed, I noticed a little speck of road tar on there. My, 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 my world started to collapse around me. It was the strangest thing. You know, Everything is going wrong in the world right now. Economies are collapsing, stock markets crashing, uh, you know, people suffering, dying, people losing their jobs. But I walk past my stupid bike and I see a little bit of road tar and I think, right, panic stations, gotta get rid of it. So then I start going all around the workshop thinking, right, what can I use? What can I use? Because obviously I can't get down to the shops where I was. So, so I found these wipes and I start scrubbing away and I eventually got rid of it. But then you start thinking, right, what else have I missed? So you start going around and you think, oh my god, there's a little stone ship there. I've got to find a way of covering that up. Oh, there's a little scratch there. Oh, there's a little bit of uh, rust here or there. So guess what uh my little i've got a couple of videos coming up uh, soon i'm sure about going around your bike and picking up all these little details the stuff that you start thinking about it's unreal i tell you what but i suppose i suppose that's we're in a surreal moment in, in our history aren't we right now nobody really knows how to act one one moment you're thinking one thing, one day you'll say one thing, and then today, uh, the next day is com completely turned on its head. We've got our global leaders saying, you know, one thing, yeah, we'll be out of this in a couple of weeks, and then a few days later saying, yeah, it's going to be a lot longer. Nobody knows. And I think one, one of the things for me is trying to have some kind of sense of normality uh, in this crazy world right now. And I think whilst it was a crazy thing for me to notice just the slightest little bit of tar on my bike, it was I was also thankful for it. I was thankful that I could still think like that. I could still think about, you know, just the, the, the mundane things and they mean so much as well. I wanted to keep my bike, you know, uh, still clean. I wanted to be able to get into those little nooks and crannies, you know, to, to, um, you know, to be able to give it a really good deep clean and miss and touch up all those little spots. And I think that's what's, you know, where I'm at really with a bike. I mean, it's running sweetly, by the way, you know, no dramas on the mechanical side of it. And I've got to say, it's looking pretty darn nice as well uh, in itself. But you know what, you know, the more you look at these things, the more you pick holes in them, the more you start thinking, no matter how beautiful it is, you as the owner, you always think, oh, yeah, that could do a little bit of work. Or oh, that, that, uh, you know, needs a bit of attention, that needs a bit of a polish or whatever. I never used to be like this uh, with, with my bikes. You know, I was kind of pretty, I was kind of pretty uh, okay with the whole thing, you know. I was kind of uh, easy going about it. If they got dirty, they did. And to a certain degree, I am. But ever since I got the Harley Davidson, you know, I've become more conscious that I don't really want to ride that fast anymore. I, I prefer to cruise and bimble around. And I'm, I'm just much more interested in all the little fine details. Maybe it's an age thing, I don't know. But anyway, so I thought, I thought I'd share that with you. You know, in this crazy world, even the slightest little thing can bring you a sense of normality. 
and a sense, well, you know, stop you from going insane in an insane world. It's just bonkers, isn't it? But anyway, look, let us know on your bike if you've noticed little things that you've never even noticed before, you know, in these, in these times when you kind of got nothing to do uh, with your time and do you think right I'm gonna I'm gonna you know have a closer look here let us know what you think yeah I mean I think I think we're all gonna end up a little bit like Sherlock Holmes you know with our magnifying glasses you know going over our bikes you know trying to find all the little imperfections um, let's face it what else are we gonna do uh, you know at some point the world's gonna have to start turning again uh, but until that time you know it's uh, yeah, as I keep on saying, you've got to find, fill your day with stuff to do, if you're not working, that is, if you're not able to work. So, uh, yeah, just going over the bike and just finding all these little things. And I suppose th there's so many things I could talk about. How to prepare your bike uh, when the riding season does properly start. Uh, how to prepare your tyres, all this kind of stuff. There's so many things. Uh, but, you know, we're all in the same boat, so it's kind of, we could all do this together, really. Just, you know, you could spend time, so much time just walking past your bike and never even thinking twice about these little things. Uh, very similar to the other day when I was just in my workshop and I decided to empty out all my tools, all my tool chests and just went through the whole lot. I never would have done it if we weren't in this situation. I guarantee I wouldn't have done it. I would have continued living in organised chaos. But no, I went through it. I had the time. And I think that's the same thing with a bike. You know, finding all these little minor imperfections right now is a good thing. Believe me, it's a good thing. Because it gives you something to do. You know, on your bike. Oh, I mean, let me know if I'm wrong. Please, tell if I'm insane, let me know. But, you know, are you finding the same thing? If you can't ride your bike right now and you're on lockdown wherever you are, and if you're watching this in a few weeks' time and your area is becoming locked down, let us know what you're doing. Let us know, you know, with your bike, that is. Are you doing the same thing? Are you going round and, you know, looking for all the minor little things? You see a little speck of dirt, then you go into, you know, it's um, a full frontal assault. Right, we must get rid of that little speck of tar. And you spend about 10 hours uh, just getting rid of the speck of little tar. It's gone. You know it's gone. But you think, I'm just going to make sure. I'm just going to clean it a little bit more. You know, we, we come to a point where we actually start rubbing the chrome off the bloody bike. <laughs> oh dear, I mean, you, you know, you, if you don't laugh, you'll cry, won't you? Absolutely. Craziness. Anyway, look, what a glorious morning it is uh, out here. Uh, on my way into uh, the work. Um, work is getting a bit uh, crazy as well. Uh, we're ever changing here in the UK, but as a red light spells danger, it certainly does right now. But look, I'm going to leave it there, uh, just to let you know. So look, it's we're all finding little things on our bikes, and uh, maybe that's just a good thing right now. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't even noticed, would have let it go. But right now, I'm just getting into one of those meticulous stages. But uh, hopefully, you enjoy the little bit of ride here. And hopefully, uh, it'll uh, get you thinking about what you can do today or tomorrow. You know, just uh, go find those minor little sp specks of dirt. Clean them off. If you've got little paint chips that have chipped off, you know, get a bit of paint on there and stop it from getting worse. Um, you know, if you're still living in damp area, try not to cover your bike too much in a cover that seals the bike in. You need good airflow around the bike, otherwise it would have been rusting. You know, you'll get rust on there. You know, but good old, good old uh, regular wash, polish, all that kind of stuff. Keep, uh, keep the bad, the rust doctor away. Anyway, right, catch you on the next video, whenever that is. To say, check those links in the description. Please like, share, subscribe. Uh, leave your comments and let us know what you think. This is all about you, by the way, guys. It's all about you. Just let us know what you're up to. And, uh, well, check out the website, revelatoralf.com. I say, click that bell next to the subscribe button for all the future videos. They're coming thick and fast. Uh, and uh, hopefully, uh, we'll see you again on the next video. Ta-da now.